Inside Frank's Diner in Kenosha, Wisconsin, the final presidential debate is still simmering like the coffee. You won't find Joe the plumber, but you will find people who watch the debate closely. So I felt like both of them were trying as hard as they could to be more attacking towards the other candidate than they have been in the past. So it, it felt more tense to me. I think uh, it, they actually had to look at each other at certain points. And you could see, you could see it on Obama's or on McCain's face. You could see the, the disdain for him. The political views of Scott McElroy and John Arden are as close as the seats they sit in. I think McCain is uh, a doddering old man who don't, doesn't know much about anything in terms of uh, running a government. I think that Barack Obama is more of an image than he is a legitimate presidential candidate. Wednesday night's debate between Senators Barack Obama and John McCain offered a lot of direct conversation between the two candidates, and that's something voters here appreciated. I think that McCain was on the offensive. He kept dogging uh, Obama about his economic plan, about his uh, voting record on abortion, and uh, you could tell that McCain was trying to uh, get his message out that uh, Obama is not the right candidate. Both candidates tried hard to convince people like these folks here that they are the one who can fix the economy. I'm not super intelligent. I'm, um, I'm not making a hell of a lot of money. But um, I, watch, I watch the politics closely. And this is a big one. It's big because voters feel their economic futures are riding on their favorite candidate. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Kenosha, Wisconsin. On election night, forget the pundits and talking heads. Drown out the static. Count the vote right here as it happens live. As voters from around the nation weigh in, check back right here, November 4th.